Hey, good morning. This is Dave, and today we're comparing a Gregory Nano 20 against a Camelback RT18. Why I chose these two bags to compare was because they both take hydration packs, and I wanted to see how the hydration pack would fit in one compared to the other. Now, I have to say, I like both of these bags, and you're gonna have to figure out which one works for you when you're comparing it. The Gregory is a more solid bag. The Camelback is one that can bend in all kinds of different ways as it starts figuring it out. But the Camelback has an integrated hydration pack that came with it. So the hydration pack goes right into the Camelback, into the slot, and it's built in. It's in here solid, you can't get it out easily, which is great when you're carrying it around. Where the, base, the Gregory's hydration pack lives on the top, in the back here with a separate compartment. Didn't come with one, it's an accessory you can buy later, but it's solid and has a nice place to stick it. Where I don't like the Camelback's ability of it's sticking in its one main pouch and it's really difficult to get the hydration pack out and in because it integrates inside of it inside pouch as it does it uh, this is the hydration pack on the camelback it's definitely in here but it's stuck in the main pouch which is good the, pr the nice thing about the camelback is it can squish all around and get into any sort of place you want and it's light. The Gregory doesn't do that as much, but the Gregory is a more solid backpack for what you're using it when you're traveling all around. I don't like the Camelback straps on the back. They're kind of light and not as consistent. The Gregory's provide a lot more support as you start carrying it around and doing it. It's definitely a better bag and it's built better as it does it. What about the pockets on the side? Because I'm always concerned. So I grabbed my Microlite 17 ounce water bottle that I carry with me, keeps everything cold and hot. And I'll do another review on the Microlite a different day. But sticking the Microlite in the Gregory sticks out a little but it's definitely in solid. On the Camelback, it sticks in, but that's the problem with the Camelback. It immediately comes out. If I did the same thing with the Gregory, and I try to make it come out, it's not coming out. You can see it's sitting there, it's not coming out. That's where the Gregory is better than the Camelback as I think about it. But the Gregory's is a more solid backpack, and you have to know that. Because of its air pockets in the back, it's got this solid piece that has air pockets in, so air pocket flows, where on the Camelback, you're not gonna get that. It's a plastic piece that's rubber, that goes right against your back, and you're gonna feel more sweat. Sweat's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna stay with you with the Camelback. The Gregory also has better pockets and better places to hold stuff. It's got a top pocket on top, perfect for wires, cables, keys, phone. The only, uh, and then it's got a main compartment here, which I love the main compartment because it's big enough and also the Gregory material is easy to clean. Especially when you get dirty, you wanna be able to get in here and clean. The Gregory allows that really well as it does it. Now you can see I've been moving the backpack all around. The water bottle is still sticking here. It's not going anywhere. That's what's nice about the Gregory. The Camelback on the other side only has one pouch on this side instead of a water bottle pouch. And I have a solar charger in it. It fits in here pretty good, but there's no other pouches. It's got one main pouch that you can stick stuff in. What's nice about the Camelback, if you're gonna get wet, this is the way to do it, because it's got a strap that will make this really closed in so water won't get in. I think the Camelback may be a little bit wetter watertight as it does it, because the Gregory has a little bit more canvas feel and some of it 
will take time to dry. But Gregory has straps where you can put the Camelback and also compression straps on it so the bag will stay closer to your back as you do it. I have to say, comparing the Camelback RT18 and the Gregory Nano 20, Gregory wins time and time again. This is the backpack I would choose. When you're starting to choose day packs, definitely think about this over the Camelback. If you have questions, please leave in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe. And let us know if you wanted us to review other backpacks or other travel gear. We're always here to help. This is Dave from Innovative Travelers. Have a great day.